Hi there. In this video, I will be reacting to A Certain Shade of Green by Incubus. Now, just to preface, I like Incubus. In fact, most of the stuff I've heard of Incubus, I love. But for whatever reason, they've been a band that I missed the whole thing. I missed the whole Incubus thing. Um, I'm 32. I'll be 33 later this year. It's 2023, the year I'm filming this. I've had friends that were huge Incubus fans. My sister saw them back in their prime. I, you know, I grew up a little bit sheltered, and so that might be part of it. But I mean, I also listened to other 90s bands like Korn and No Doubt and things like that. So it's weird to me that I just missed the Incubus thing. Now, you know, obviously I've heard Drive, everyone's heard Drive, but I've also heard songs like The Warmth and Nice to Know You, kind of those like more like hit songs, I guess. I thought I would start from the beginning and go back to their early stuff. Now, if you're a diehard Incubus fan and you're watching this, please instruct me in the ways of where to begin. Um, I assume science is their first major release maybe they have more stuff than that and uh if there's something else i should start with please let me know um i planned on starting from the beginning so a certain shade of green seemed like um appropriate place to start the music video is uh only available in 480 pixels we'll just have to make that work and it goes something like this Hot. Medicine worked. Adore. That's nasty. Okay, it seems like that's a PRS or it kind of almost looks like a Rickenbacker. I'll be able to tell as the video sort of plays out. Anyhow, as a guitar player, love what the guitar and bass are doing together. I don't know if Incubus is considered new metal. I don't know. You please let me know in the comments if if Incubus is considered new metal because I just simply do not know. It has everything that I love. Obviously, I I don't mind turntables. I was a teenager when Limp Bizkit was huge. Well, I was a preteen when they were huge, and then a teenager when they were sort of disbanding, but mid two thousands, early two thousands. But I I love it. <laughs> I completely approve of the slap bass, a hundred thousand percent. Okay. Very nice. I love how the '90s like heavy music look for frontmen is like the dreads but like the thin dreads with like a little bit of stash. I'm a huge corn fan, as I've said, and um, Jonathan Davis definitely had that going on with the, the eyebrow ring. And in my previous band days as a kid, and I had friends that told me they wanted me to gauge my ears because my earlobes were begging to be gauged, but I kind of just chickened out slash had strict parents. But uh, by the time I got around to the age of where I would want to do that, I felt like I would be a poser if I did it. So, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> It's weird. It, it it's it's it seems like it's four four, but it also seems like it's not four four, which I love. I also love how '90s and I've said this before. '90s music production. One of the reasons why it was so good and why it still stands the test of time is not only was the music good. I mean, like if you're if you're not into this kind of music, then like you know you probably shouldn't even continue watching this video. But not only is the music good. Um, not only were the performances so raw and real, it was you had producers that came up in the 70s and 80s when stereophonic recording and like really just like high fidelity was becoming like it was it was becoming fully realized or more fully realized, I should say. So you had these really seasoned engineers and producers working with these young 
energetic bands and pouring those decades of experience into giving them that kind of quality. You know, it was pre Pro Tools, or I mean, Pro Tools was around, but it wasn't good. And so it was like, it was still done on tape, uh, a lot of it, and had to be done right. I mean, 1997, I mean, I would love to look into more of how the science record was made, but I would imagine it was pretty old school. It was just a lot of raw, amazing musicianship, as we can see here. Invitation. I love uh, the front man. His name is Brandon Boyd, I think. I, I'm i guessing. I hope I have that right. Um, I'll correct it in the titles if I got it wrong. But I've always loved his voice. Always. I love a great band. Just having that sort of nice vocal floating on top just kind of glues it all together. All right, I'll shut up. It's definitely a headbanger. Not a huge fan. That was a weird place to pause it. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Not a huge fan of the uh, the turntable guy wearing a mask. Yeah, whatever. That was 1997 and not 2020. So it's all good. It's all love, Incubus. Okay, a couple things. One, I appreciate the capturing of the front man's personality, which I think is so crucial to any band. And then I also appreciate I'm hearing it's an electric guitar, but it's not plugged in and it's obviously been mic'd. Now, for those of you that don't understand music production or maybe you're just getting into music production, typically an electric guitar is plugged into an amp and then it is mic'd at the amp, the amplifier, or it is plugged in to a DI into a DAW, like Logic or something like that. Very rarely will you hear somebody actually mic an electric guitar. I know I've definitely done that, but um, you don't hear it very often. Just observing. <laughs> Appreciate the flash mob style, almost like pre extinction rebellion type thing going on in the streets. Dig the astronaut. Solid. Yeah, that song kicked so much butt talk. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Obviously, it scratches every itch for me. I mean, I, I'm biased to that era of music, though. I love rock and metal from not just the 90s, but the 2000s as well. And um, this is sort of like this was the beginning of that that wave of, of that. I mean, obviously, you know, it started much earlier than this, but I love it. Uh, if you like this review, uh, if you found it entertaining, if you found it entertaining, let me know in the comments what other music you'd like me to react to, review or whatever listen to and you'll see my face and hear my voice all right i will see you on the next one i'm jake nolan please subscribe if you made it this long into the video smash the like button i'm recording a second full-length album and i'm documenting my progress you can check those videos uh on my channel as well all right goodbye it's been real it's been fun later